a bird lands out of sight of your dog and as far as the retriever is concerned your dog and often you are flying blind here are top gun dog trainer ricky maloney's training tips with real life examples first retrieve end gun or a gun further down shot it uh, dog hasn't seen anything of that retrieve whatsoever so he's got to believe me that he goes out and he runs until he either finds the game touches scent or until I say, whoa, that's the area that I want you to settle down. Okay, what command? Show, show me the command, which means this is the line. So if I'm lining my dog up, one hand, line the dog up, go back. That's the command I'm going to give the dog. It comes right. down to footwork and heel work. I've trained my dog about heel work. Wherever I am, as a retriever, wants to be at the side of me. So wherever I turn with the gun, the dog's in a line, I can then go back. If it's seen it, it just gets the dog's nerve. If the dog comes off the line, do you then call it back and start again? Depends on the dog, depends on the dog's temperament. If you've got a very sensitive dog and you keep calling it back, you could get it very sticky. You could go out five yards, stop and look at it and say, am I doing the right thing, am I coming back? So dog training really is about looking at the type of dog you've got from, from eight weeks of age when you acquire it as a puppy and assessing that dog, seeing how it ticks, whether it's bold, whether it's shy, anything in between, whether it's hard hunting, whether it's a dog that runs in a straight line naturally, and then you'll tailor your training according to the puppy, the youngster you've got in front of you. Second retrieve, nice shot, well done. Thank you very much, <laughs> yes, yep. <laughs> the second retrieve, it landed and it ran. Now, right. you're disconnecting with the dog the moment it's gone over the wall, actually, because it can see the game. It's not listening to you, it's going straight off that, doesn't it? D dog's got to deal with that. That's what I've got a dog for. Uh, too much handling, too much overtraining, and you get a dog that might touch that fall, but not follow it up. So the art in training a good dog is balance. Ricky Maloney runs Ribblesdale Labradors. This series on gun dog training tips is brought to you by Skinner's Pet Foods, maker of the field and trial range of gun dog feeds. Visit skinnerspetfoods.co.uk.